Wow. Now y'all see that phone right there? I'm looking for this damn phone. Oh shit! And I ain't right ain't right ain't right right right. <laughs> Like, let me go get my phone. You know who? Okay, you already got it on. Yeah. Why? Hello, everybody. This is Miss Lala, and you're watching Simply Sex with Miss Lala. Hey, and I got my girls here today. I got Miss Ronette and I got Miss Sweetness Hood in the house. Hi. And today, um, the top, the, the top of the back. Let's get this music down a little bit, ladies. We had to get crunk for a minute. But I got you. The top of the day. <laughs> Things we have to get off our chest as women. Because if we don't, we gonna break. And especially when we got kids, small kids, grown kids, we do not need to break. So I'm gonna let my girl start and um let her speak her truth and get it off your brain. Take a deep breath. I got a little Stella out the way. She always make everybody want to get there. was um so you say you've been married one time right? right so um what you say you got to the five year mark yeah. so after the five year mark as far as sexuality what did you do different to keep everything spicy and going on not only in the bedroom, because you know you can keep it spicy with how you dress, something that you cooked, you know, or something like that. So how how did you do it? Because I've never been married, so y'all two have this motherfucker right here been married two times. <laughs> Probably going on three. No sir. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that when he get out. But, oh, that shit ain't going out. Like. <laughs> Parked in the, in the park, and I parked in the park, and I parked in the park, and 
his apartment's right on the street. Bring him Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we just bring that in. There it is. So, 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 what? Hold on, hold on. They said it's baby. I can't, I can't, I can't. Y'all, well, well, I can't get wrong. <laughs> okay, so, 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 y'all did some outside of shit. I mean, in the truck. In the truck. Okay, yeah. But my question to you is so that's kept the romance going um, for over five years, right? I mean, doing spontaneous shit like that. Because that means. I'll do some shit like that. Nice. Even though that was spontaneous, but it still then they keep us, you know, have been sexual act. That didn't keep nothing. That was just he was so hard. Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. So it was still him doing him. Mm -hmm. But it was just like I was just there. So when he beat so boom, I was there. So, so when did you realize that that was actually what was going on? When did you realize that? Because at some point, I know you said, God damn, these motherfuckers get on one head. Yeah. I, I actually, uh, I went to his phone. And I asked about it. So after after that, you know, this was going But I did. I forgave him several times. Several times, but it's like as I forgive him, it's like he would do stuff to shut me up. So I won't think nothing else about what he doing out there. He'll do stuff like what to shut you up. Gifts, gifts, no, no, no. flowers. It was just he would do stuff. Trips. No, we, we never went on a trip. You and your husband never of heard. six years never heard. never even went down a country never. road. Like, uh, I would drive out of town, and he, you know. Mm. Mm -mm. It, it was just, I don't know what kind of marriage she had. I did that one my first I don't know. Time. It was, basically, he was treating like a boyfriend and girlfriend, but she said it was marriage. And people was giving, old people, young people was giving him advice on marriage, and, you know, how you should treat your wife, and just, he still want to take marriage. He was just still doing him. He was acting like he was single, but he was married. So when you I realize that. He's single. That's going to be at home. I've heard, I've he heard a lot of women say that about the truck driving. Yeah. But still, when he at home and he know he's married, that's still not. It didn't mean that nobody because he would have two phones. So you tell me. There it is. Two phones. And when did you decide to confront him? I never, it. you know what? I never confronted. Why? I, never him. Why? I always used to catch, catch it on his phone. I no, but you never said it. No, I never. To him. I, I never was that type of person that. Oh, <laughs> I was. I was quiet. If it was, was, if it was the other way around. Yeah, yeah, I was quiet. I just, I just shut up. So you never, I, even the stuff that you found in his phone, never, you never said I asked him about it. That okay, so what did he say? He said, the way he, the way he, you know, spit it out to me, it was like, oh, like that. He, and you married to this man. Yeah, and I believe everything you, you tell me. You believed it, but did you feel in your heart and your he gut feeling true. that he was lying? Yeah. So 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 you stayed with the lie. You knew it was a lie, but you decided to stay mm -hmm. on with the lie. To Why? Save, to save face. Yeah. Why? To save what? To what? Why you stay with the lie? Motherfucker, motherfucker, motherfucker don't give a fuck. Let me tell you something. Um, yeah, I've been married twice, but I'm standing it, and they were both different. One was just like yours. Now, I was married to him longer than you were married to yours. But within that marriage, I, when you start, let me tell you something, you start feeling some shit, and when you got to start checking through a motherfucking phone, it is what it is. Either you're going to stay with it, or you're going to get the fuck on. I decided, you know what, I called his mama, they came and got his stuff, because he was already out doing what he was doing. So, 
New year, new everything. When I mean new locks, new knocks, new you want. We ain't got nothing over here no more. I'm done. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. She took it to the head. It's like I was just saying oh, no. and I was stuck. Why? Why no. And why no? And I didn't. Who was telling you to stay with him? Huh? Who? You okay. can, I mean, you just, what you in my body and my mind? And I was stuck. It was stuck. Okay. Why well, did he make you stuck though? What was he doing, or what was right. he telling you to make you be stuck? Cause I know eventually you knew what was going on and you knew it was time to get out. Cause you, you you stay in a relationship like that, you got to be insane. You know, you, you got to, your mind about to be blown. So what actually what made you decide to say you left for now? Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, enough, we roll on yeah, enough, roll enough, enough was enough was when I went out. Yeah, I went down, I left, and went out to Texas because, you know, it's like being in Georgia, I just couldn't. Who stayed in Texas? He did. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all remember when they was married? Yeah. And he stayed in Texas. Right. For how, how long that went on? That was Joe. Oh, okay, that was Joe. Yeah, but he got a place, a place, place. In Texas. He started moving the family. I was, it was just me and my kids. Yeah, he didn't shoot. A property. You see, I, I got a shot right so, here. So, so, I'm in ice. So, when I was down in Texas, I got down there. He got us a bus seat. He mm -hmm. left that night. He, he, he packed up and he left. <laughs> So, we got in the table. So, when I got to his house, I saw some, some lubricants, some condoms, and everything up under his cabinet. I said, oh, which cabinet? In the bathroom? Yeah, the bathroom, the, the, the bathroom, the, be, the bedroom had a bathroom, you mm -hmm. know, the sink, and he got the door, mm -hmm. and the tub, and the toilet. Yeah, it was like that. So, you walk in his room, the sink. And the, mm -hmm. the cabinet part was at the bottom. What was you looking for? Was I was out. just cleaning out stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when I cleaned it out, I, I saw that. I was like, oh, okay. I, I can't. Why did you? So, Why do you keep being quiet? <laughs> You too quiet, first of all. You better be quiet. Y'all can't be quiet no more. I hope that. So now, so then we went to this, this little place, you know, the little jumping place that had all the balls and stuff. Yeah. With the kids. Mm -hmm. So that day, I was like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Because they said we're going to spend the summer. I was going to play soccer, but let me see the time. And I said, shoot, we got my phone, my phone in the backpack. Tell me, so okay, let me see his phone. I looked at his phone, I see the message from the girl. I'm going to take it. I think that time he gets mad. He thought I was just trying to go to his phone. I was like, I was listening at the time. So he can't get your phone. Because the phone is on my is in the backpack on my back. That's why. And I picked up your phone just so I could see the sign of it. Right. That shouldn't have been a problem that was so your he, So he was pissed off. all he was pissed off. He had something in the phone. To yeah. I seen it. I seen the message that I didn't say. So Girl. It came to the point that, you know, when I found out everything, that, you know, my escape to get back to the mm -hmm. I, I, I was sitting there just thinking, and I had plans, and so I tricked her just to bring me back here. But this is how it all happened. I went to his phone, he was asleep. He came home, he ate with us, he went to sleep. So something's scared. Something's in here just. Thought it, thought it. And somebody said, Look at my phone. I was 
Right, the Timberland boots. Okay. The ones with the tap on. He didn't have the shoes tied on. He had a, you know, on his buddy. Oh, he could throw it out. Shoe dropping off his feet. <laughs> oh, he tried. He tried to play. Judge. Yeah, he was playing. Yeah. He thought he was playing the judge. But folks don't get out of the city before you got in there more. So, once we, once we left there, I went my way. He went his way. Like, that said, that lady said, well, July 1st. Y'all get divorced. I saw it. Yeah. And that was what? July 2020? Or 2021? 2020? It got to be 2018. Oh, that was 2018? No, it was 2019. 2019. Yeah. Yeah, 19. So, so is he taking care of his responsibility since the divorce? Because you know, some men, they got to push their ass. You need to be proud. You don't be wanting want to bring the folks in your damn business. Is back on he 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 ain't been paying his child support. Paying four thousand and some change back pay on child support. That was fucking out. So any bitch and he make a hundred thousand dollars a year. Well, he still ain't paying his dog on child support. He made that much. Oh hell no! Now. Take care of another family instead of his own. Who's his son? What? <laughs> See, that's that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know, get deep with it, but yeah, that's that's the story of my life. Yeah, that's another story. Uh, yeah. Girl, look, I, I, I mean, I already know, cause been here. Oh, these niggas, wow. But you know, they want to talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Church, right? These in niggas, the, wow. In the middle of wow. All these for wow. You said the middle part. Yeah, in the middle part, let's not forget. I had, I, I, I gave him, I gave him two kids. Mm -hmm. One of them passed away. And it's like, it don't, it don't bother him. Not, not one bit. Not that you know of. Not that you know of. That man, that, you don't know how he is when he's alone and that, when he's that, in his thoughts. That man don't accomplish. You don't know that. Not that you, you, never you seen, know. You've never seen him cry. But you don't know that. Not even, not even when I saw him when he passed away. When he passed away. But I'm going to tell you, my, but I'm gonna tell you most men do not cry. They don't. They won't cry in front of a woman. The reason why is because when they're little boys, and you know your little ones come for. I already know. So I already know they was in he could Man, suck it up. That was me. So I wish you. He was. was he, he was mostly angry. Daddy, daddy, you know, he was mostly, he was mostly angry. That's an emotion. So all his angerness, thisness, is sitting out. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's like the whole time, after my review, I was okay. It was like now it hits me every time when I look at the man's face. I remember everything he has ever done to me. And I cry about it, but now I'm in the healing process. So have you forgave him? You got to deeply forgive him because if not, you won't be able to move on. You'll still be. Like this, yeah. so you got to go on and forgive him and move on. You know, once you do that, you, I mean, I mean, you don't even have to tell him that you forgive him, you just have to talk to the Lord about it. That's it. And it's the crazy part about it. Hey, you can even tell, like, if you can do that too, but whenever you feel like that, you can do that because I did it, and that fucked him up when I said that I forgive you for everything. And I hope you forgive me for what I did to you. And I don't want to say whatever it was, but whatever <laughs> I did to you. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's always certain things that you do. Because I know my mouth and my mouth is hell. If you piss me off, I'm finna give it to you. So I know I, I know me how to stay secure. But if you don't, you're gonna always have that feeling, so you got to. You, you don't speak up, <laughs> girl, you gonna snap. And if you don't, if you do, you might snap on that. 
You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to be so balled up that when you got that, that good, that good man that was sent to you and you were sent to him and, you know, messed up. Your well, how do you know that? Well, how do you know when, when that <laughs> good man is sent to you? I don't know yet, cause I hear I don't know. You, 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 I, have, I don't know that you yet. Have to, you have to. I can sleep. In your, in your well, I mean, I'm, I'm ready, but you it's like <laughs> it's a feeling you can't get rid of. You know. Well, so how would you? What would you, you consider? I don't know how you know. Good good name, you know? Yo. What would you consider, motherfucker? Is well, being a your good name. Sense, and then sometimes you gotta. You can't go with with um your um your type. You can't go with. It. You gotta Wait, go what, what what you, you gotta, mean? You gotta go outside the box. Right, right. You can't yeah, say, mean, oh, you have to live on yeah, the my type. Edge I ain't gonna to talk to him. Yeah. But this other one over here, I ain't your type. But he'll 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 good and for you. But you don't know that because you say this person ain't your type. This is a nigga. Right, right, right. So you can't yeah, never say. And it's yeah, okay to get a normal nigga, right? And it's yeah, okay to get yeah. a nine to five. If you got a hustler. If you got a good hard inside, I mean, a, a good, good, good hard on inside, it's okay. You feel it? Yeah. Then that's the one. Yeah. 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 But make sure it's not, you know, gas that you're feeling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And then once you have a basic down pat, whatever the motherfucker bring to the table, can you bring it to the table as well? And that ain't even that ain't even really money. That ain't even really money. Cause if he got the basis, he got the money down pat. So that ain't even a money. So what y'all think it is? We you are vibing with a motherfucker. And see, right now, I, I, the reason why I can say I can't answer that question because I'm not even on it right now. I'm not even, that's not even coming to me. Is in, you know, saying, what a, uh, nobody right now. I'm saying, so you drive. But when I be over here, that motherfucking phone don't be dry. No, it, it doesn't. Ain't wrong since we've been sitting here. But just know. <laughs> so with that being said. Ain't that motherfucking dry. Uh, look how we got we. Yeah. Yo. So. <laughs> don't be looking at that. <laughs> but that's real though. And you got to also, just like we were talking about earlier, y'all know. You got, before we really, and, and I, only, I ain't know this all my life. I'm 55 and this some shit. I'm just not learning my goddamn self. We got to check these motherfuckers background, see that they love they Give mama, them an application. Do they have a relationship it's with their kids? They Are they on the court? Yes. They baby yes. mama. Yes. Ain't nobody yes. no no Ain't no confusion no going on. Got the one person. What? You got one person. What? Oh, oh yeah. That's number one. That's the first person. Oh yeah. That's number one. That's that number one. That's number one. You got to be the first Ain't person. Ain't no need to fuck with a nigga and um, you praising the Lord every day. And he ain't thinking about never going to the trail or to the <laughs> club, 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 club or something like that. And, and, and that's all good though. But if y'all ain't on the same page, you can go to the trail. You can go to the club. But, but if y'all, if you going to church, you and that's what something you want that's him to do for, as well, man if he ain't on that page, then that wait. Tell me a nigga, I, I, I just want to add one question. I'm tired of talking now. I got high. <laughs> um, I just want to be honest because both of you all have been married. I haven't been married, and this is something that i never done before. Because I never came in tech with a nigga that I've been with, um, including my children, daddies, that I prayed with. Okay. So, have you ever, I'm talking about get down on your knees and pray with your man, your husband? husband. Yeah. Okay. And when you did, what was his reply? What was his response? Not, I'm going to tell you, not with my first husband. I actually went start when we were divorced and all that. We, we still good friends to this day. I got two sons by him. They grown now. But we went to church together for a long time. Me and the whole, the whole family. And we was we divorced. Now with my second husband, um, it's when we got married that that happened. That day, that was the first time. That was the last time. That yeah. And what about you? Me? Oh, oh, you. <laughs> you have you ever prayed with your husband? See, that's our problem. What? Why? What? What? what, what if you? We know you pray. We as women. We pray all through. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I did that. I did that. Oh, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> right here, right here. We oh, as women, we pray all throughout the day. Yeah. We praying about everything. When we get in the car, we praying. When we, when we come at home, we praying. When we wake up, before we go to sleep, we the child's school work, we praying. <laughs> so if you ain't praying with your man, your husband. Yeah. Um, what, 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 what? He don't like God? Or you ain't asking to get down on his knees with you at night when you pray? Mm -hmm. Or is you getting on your knees at night when you pray? Because let me tell you something. When, when you be with a person for a long time, it could be 21 days. When you do something for 21 days, and your mate feel right there too. He gonna do it too. 
don't care if you praying, I don't care if you getting high, I don't care if you cooking, I don't care if you teaching them kids, I don't care if you listen to a certain kind of music, Preach. he gonna do it too. Or vice versa. Y'all get the same shit. So with that being said, if you walking around this motherfucker every day praying, and you heard him say, now motherfucking prayer, not even thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. He ain't even feeling us. He ain't even feeling you. He ain't even feeling you. He ain't even feeling you. I'm telling you, he ain't feeling me. He ain't feeling you. He ain't feeling you. I used to cry all the time, but it's like when we went to church, because I got him to go to church, but it's like, he would go to church, but when that phone ring, at the church, you got to stop, 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 on the phone to the bitch the whole while my old lady in now and then when church over with i'm gonna tell the bitch i'm gonna holler at her later called church he ain't about church because if he it's was like, he would have been in there with his wife stop playing it's with like yourself every time he goes to church he's like he's sitting up for the lady he out and then and then get what the excuse would be like around when you be like but why didn't you come back in the church you talking on the phone there? Well, damn, I did come to church. You know, they'll come back with yeah. some reverse psychology uh -huh. shit. Well, bitch, nigga, you want in there to praise the Lord. Right. That's how you got to start sending back on that. One time I was in the bathroom. Really I said, it, it, it might be a third, but right. and, and I was, when I, one time I was in the bathroom, I was praying. He was like, you okay? I said, yeah, I'm fine. He would come in there and I had to stop. Well, why? Wow. You should stop. I mean, I'm going to tell y'all. Because you're talking to the Lord. I, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. just the that's my only piece right there is to actually go into the restroom and just talk. That's your so space. Yeah, that's my space. And it shouldn't be, but I've always felt like that. Those are, I mean, it's just I'm, 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 I'm talking and he responding back and his response is, whew. It's like, hey, keep doing what you're doing. Everything going to be all right. It's slowly. You're doing it. It's your thing, your pace. So continue doing it. You got this going on and you got that going on. Finish that first thing. First thing. That was and sometimes he'll say, hell no. Nah, fuck that shit. Oh, he done not do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please don't do that. But get with it. We are going to do it. Like we crazy, and he'll be like, "Y'all are sick, y'all are sick, you know." Pop, you know, we see our our boys finna sleep. One thing I know about the Lord, He get tired of you coming to Him with the same problems over and over again. He don't get help you with that problem. If you go back and you go through that same shit, He got to help you back do that again. And then here we go, you go back and do that same shit, and He got to help you come through that again. Why not get something new? Except the same shit. No, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga, a nigga. Some grossy. Some damn, some fucking grossy. Sometimes when enough is enough, enough is enough. You know you're at home, you know where you're tired because mm -hmm. I can't get up up in the middle. And yeah, enough is enough. Still let your ass sit the foot back and sit stupid because I will get through the 15 times with Gina. You still doing it with Gina. Yeah. Look. I'm tired of having this conversation with you. <laughs> oh, my head. Like, yeah. I'm fine. Did you just hit me my forehead? Mm -hmm. yeah, but one thing about it, he's a forgiving. Oh, no. But you got to, see, that's our problem. You always know he going to forgive you. 
you always know he gonna forgive you. Yeah, so real. you just keep goddamn doing the same bullshit. Come on, let's keep it real now. What you looking for, baby? Go. Nigga, they in the same spot they were when your ass lived. You can't, you can't, you can't take that like that. Oh, you know, God. Yeah, I thought, I thought I had picked up some, but I don't picked up whole paper plates and get free out. The internet. <laughs> right there, where you at? Go back. Uh, go up. No, it's on the left side, Lord. <coughs> no, it's not. That's what we start talking about, Lord. What they say, sis? You know what they say? <laughs> There you go. You need some ice? I'm, I'm good for that. Oh. I got stuff though. I forgot to get my paper cup. I thought I picked, I picked some up and probably put them down. <laughs> Y'all don't pay me no attention. Well, yeah, niggas ain't shit. That's what they say. But yeah. are they really not shit? And it's saying, you know, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm a saying. Yeah, it's a saying. Yes, it's a saying for it's a our person. Fault. Because we make them not shit. And it's some women who ain't shit because they still up here do the same shit the men do. But men are sloppy. They really are. <laughs> they sloppy. Y'all did with if y'all the shit that y'all do, I swear we perfect the shit that y'all supposed to be trying to do. But they say men learn from us. That's what the book of love is about. The men learn from us. Well, if y'all stupid asses learn from us, you wouldn't get caught. You wouldn't get caught through nothing in your phones, none of that bullshit, you dumb fucks. I love y'all, though. I love y'all. Man, I just got through teaching them you know how to cheat. Well, yeah. we learn from them. They sit, but they still won't do that, though. A dog is not going to do exactly what they supposed to do. They going to got them sniff outside the region because that other region smells real tantalizing and all that shit with this region over here got going on. So we gonna go to this other reading because that motherfucker reading is like can do anything I want to do this region over here because this region more than she got all that. But this one right here got a lot more, but this one don't got. So we gonna keep both y'all and women do that too. We might have this one, this one, and this one to actually make the perfect man. Cause I actually had, I had a thing. I was going out five dollars to make the perfect man, and that's a game that I got. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that is your perfect man. And man, like I said, you know, you said men cheat for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Different. So, 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 what happens when you cheat? What overall? I know what, what mine do was. women cheat for because. Um, most women cheat when they're being cheated on, um, and they not, they not, and been done right. Hello. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a lot. Cause I wouldn't do. I, it's a lot of things that Mama sick of one group. I'm just right. Saying. Exactly. So with that being said, first. Husband with mine. Um, so, yeah, I used to dance back in the day. Yeah, right, I still sex right. toys and whatnot. But just because of what I do, does not mean I want another motherfucker right. bitch in the bed with me. But I gotta mess with the fuck. What the fuck you want fuck? I can mess with my own. But I'm on my friend. So that's okay. what I wouldn't do with my first husband. That was probably one of them because I cooked, I cleaned. He couldn't come home. The house was was clean when he got because number one, stupid me. I'm the one that had the house. So, but I cooked, I, cooked, I did everything that I was supposed to do. I had my own, I had two businesses already before I even got into my marriage. So, um, it was just that something that I wasn't giving him. And that was that other woman in the bed. The fuck? Oh, he wanted he wanted you to have uh, it, it was threesome. Uh, yeah, and but see the thing is when uh, I've been on my first husband, I've been knowing him for a long time. I mean, like over shit, maybe over thirty years. So when we got married, you know, 
I was, oh hell, I was dancing then when we got married. And the first, you know what I'm saying, we had dated, we had dated about a year or so. Probably, yeah, a year or so. Because we dated years ago, but we was young, you know what I'm saying. I was in college at the time, and I'm trying to take care of my son. I ain't got time to really be in a relationship because I was dancing in, and I'm trying to keep the bills paid, get the apartment paid off, the whole kid could boot and keep the lifestyle that I was used to with for me and my boy. That was it. So it was like when that was brought to her, because I mean, me, yeah, me and my husband did some freaky shit. Yes, we did, because that was my husband. Who else, who else am I going to do that with? Right. And that was actually it. Yes, I did do I did a, I did a video with my husband. Well, I did one with my husband, number two. But I did one with him. I kept the tape. I told him motherfucker up. <laughs> it wasn't no copy that I had. But when he brought that, having another female in I was like Pac, Miss Pac Man. I got just bit. Hell no, what the fuck? I got what the fuck? I want another pussy in the bed with me. I got a pussy. Fuck you, me. No, I'm not. That's not what. But he fit. But his thing was being that I could because I was a stripper. All strippers, don't, no, all strippers don't get down like that. All strippers don't do dope. All strippers don't drink. I, I was the one. I didn't drink when I danced, but I, I hell, I've been a weed. I smoke weed, but I didn't drink. And you was not. I don't have plenty of females come up to me, and I tell them straight out, baby. But I take your money because I'm dancing. I'm trying. Hey, I got bills to pay, and if that's what you're trying to get, throw out, let's do it. But I'm not finna. I am not finna. You're not finna lick. You're not finna take. You're not finna do it. The shit irritates me now when my daughter and her little friends be. <laughs> Popping me, hey, bitch, if you don't start popping me on my ass, I'm about to throw you. I'm about to just, mm. it irritates me. So I don't like what nobody do, but I feel like when you're in a marriage, that is, I am with you. You are with me. I don't want all the motherfucking juices flowing on me. I don't want, I don't want your juice is my juice. My juice is your juice. I just smell really nice together. That's that pheromone. That's the reason why we got them fucking like motherfucking rats. With that being said, I don't need nobody else in my motherfucking goddamn pen fucking in my king size bed besides this queen and the king that I married. So he went outside the box. He went outside the box. And when he outside, went outside the box, I felt it. It was like I might have felt it the day that the shit happened to the point I'm like, That motherfucker got there doing some shit. I knew he was doing some shit, but when I called him out on the shit, he didn't want me to go out that night. And see, I know how to goddamn push a motherfucker's foot. I learned from the best. <laughs> so, me and my girls, he's gonna go out that night. He wants to start an argument. He start an argument all day long. But you're finna get ready to watch. All three of these children, my sisters too, and then, you know, that, that wasn't sweet. No, oh, no, no, not, not the football team, West Mount, because I was a football mom. Mm. So with that being said, we have all at West Mount, we had all of it on the weekend. They had mm. California with us. You ain't finna do nothing at all. So did y'all ever do the threesome though? No, yeah, fuck no. So he went outside the house and did the threesome with somebody else. So so I so you down. know. So with that being said, you know you couldn't give your husband everything that he asked you for. You cannot. Nobody can give a nigga every particular thing that from A to Z that he needs. And they always say, well, almost some men always say, I'm simple, just feed me. Why oh, stop, but, nigga? Please. Some of them want their ass I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna say that. Some of them want they. Let me take that back. Man, please. Because mm -hmm. a man is a man. I don't care if you white, black, red, brown, purple. It don't matter. A man is a man. Everybody do the same thing. And a woman is a woman. It don't matter what color. It's just you. Whatever you feeling in your heart. You. I mean, you. Like I say, you treat folks the way you want to be treated. 
And if you treat them like shit, and then when it, it come, when I start doing it, you on you. Don't get mad when my you is different from your other. I'm telling you, my shit is deadly. I'm trying to do the shit that you trying to do. No, bro. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have you ready to probably kill me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And they do that. And it's been men that did. It's been some women that done knocked off the men because you cannot play with somebody's feelings. Don't play with my heart. Don't play with my mind. You ain't gonna play with my mind. You play that that got played with when I was like a teenager up until I was 21. After 21, the light said, fuck they they say a certain age, the light bulb come on. Now it came on at 21. So my mouth been fly like this for a long time. When it comes to a man, I will I hate. So what you consider as like like you you didn't want to do the threesome, so he went outside the house and did, and did the threesome. I'm sure he did. He probably so was this, already doing. So did that? Did did you consider that as playing on your intelligence? Because that's something he already asked you to do. So so you done gave eighty percent, but then twenty percent he going outside the house. He don't even like her. And he I don't love or her. Or them. Or them. <laughs> he just want to get that 20% done. Okay, you see what I got? And come back to the house. You see what I got going and on right here? And do everything else. This that is need my to be scale so, that I have. So, so, what you feel about that? Because you knew you would You know you can't get him that 20%. And you know what? That just brought his ready. See, the, this supposed to be my right hand because it's my husband. It's just my right hand. But you already know that it's a lot of shit that a nigga's going to He's not going to tell him. A but, husband. Oh, yeah. A husband. Because get with it. What it say about the husband in the Bible? Y'all two been married. What it say? What it say? <laughs> Y'all two been married. You been married twice. Young and old, so and they that, all still the same. It don't matter the age. Y'all don't even know. But with that being said, no, I don't know because they weren't meant to be. With that being said, <laughs> you know damn well you can't do everything though. Ain't no such thing. Or think about doing or trying to do. And, and it's gonna be one person. motherfucking thing. That you at least do. one. Yeah. And what? And look, yours was what? Mine. Mine was um besides the, the sexual shit was. The that was with marriage number one because as far as him being a father, he was beautiful with with you know saying with, with the children. But he didn't communicate with you. Communication was good for a minute, but only time the I'm gonna tell you, only time the communication got bad is when um, he had that bitch. Come in the picture. Who, who is number one? Yeah. Okay. Cause yeah. you didn't want to do three. No, 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 no. But I mean that bitch. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Like I know what boy. You know what boy is. Yeah. That bitch. That yeah, bitch. That, that came into play. Oh, yeah. So when you can't fight, you cannot fight that. Sometimes you cannot. And being that you know. So that's a whole different ball game. That's a whole different <laughs> level. <of that game. laughs> Or uh, live or whatever. Exactly. But, um, so niggas, it's like it's just, we already be talking about niggas ain't shit, niggas ain't shit, bitches ain't shit. Exactly. Y'all don't know a lot of these hoes around here ain't shit. But if we we keep saying niggas ain't shit, why we keep picking the niggas that ain't shit? It's like the wrong we category. We around the wrong shit. motherfuckers. Yep. <laughs> Half of us ain't got no morals. Half of us ain't got no uh, sick, uh, high self esteem. A nigga tell us we cute, we, we got a big booty, we fine, we love you and all that. It you is. believe it. But <laughs> have he showed you that he loved you? Have he showed you that? Yeah. Hell the fuck now. And we still be got down engaging in that bullshit. And that's something we need to start doing. Like for real. Like for real. Chasing the emotion that you're never going to find within that person. Because you have not found that emotion within yourself. Because mm -hmm. if you're not loving yourself, how the fuck you going to love Woo! somebody else? Right. That's right. You got to say it. Just say it. Just say it. Don't get your song, Simon.
say? <laughs> what she say, girl? What, what, what did she say? What did Keisha Cole say, baby? You gotta love yourself before you love someone else. That's yes, right. And that's so for real. That's right. Like that's on what? What the hell? What the hell are you doing? doing? You just got them getting emotion, emotion. All these bad motherfucking spirits is all, and you got all this bad, bad, fucked up shit built up in you because you never got damn released and breathed for a minute. I hell, I done breathed for goddamn almost two years, and I, I, I can, I can say this because I mean, no sex, no nothing, no nothing, no nothing. I had to goddamn regroup and goddamn get myself together because I'm like, I had to look at my in the mirror one day and was like, girl, what the hell is you doing? You got to, you got to. You got to. She, I've been breathing oh. ever since August 2020, baby. Don't play with me. I been, like, for real. You got to learn how to find yourself. You got to look at your inner self. You got to know. If, if you can be alone, it's okay to be alone. Well, well, women, we've we been jumping from here to there to here to there. We ain't even got time to know ourselves. I mean, be by yourself. You ain't got to have a nigga every month. You ain't, got to, you ain't got to change up every six months. Girl, again, it's okay to love, love yourself. Find your Woo! inner man. Find your inner self. It's okay to be without some dick. But just know. <laughs> just know, no. Just know. Go on and get you some toys. <laughs> Call this right here. Pure La -la, romance. Pure romance. Get you some toys. Because you want to have some kind of sex going on at least once a week. Yeah, I, I mean, mean that's honestly, good for you. Masturbation is really good for you. I yeah. Mean, on a, I mean, you don't have to do it on a daily, but if you do it on a daily, yeah. I mean, that's really good. It keeps, it keeps yeah. 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 Ooh, headaches, child. it keeps you know, the heart pumping real good, blood, blood circulation. All this shit. All just of that. <laughs> that goes for men and women, too. Go, I mean, what's one? Go ahead. Don't be shy. Don't Please be shy. don't be shy. Don't be shy. April <laughs> shower bring the flower. <laughs> I guess you heard that. And that note, I got to do it. <laughs> and there you have it. You see, we coming back, though. We coming back. We coming back. Oh, my God. We coming back. Oh, my God. 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 I know, Jesus. Oh, I, then my daughter did the letter wrong. No, I'll turn it. <laughs>